lightening up or getting any better? Or? <laughs> <laughs> Um, I don't know. I, I wouldn't say it. there are reprieves here and there, but as far as the the shit storm in general, that kind of is is churning along. Like, uh, just just for for me personally, for us, like we're looking for work, and that's being difficult. Like even just to find something small. Um. It's taking forever, and then at the same time, uh, my car just like took a big shit. My no. Prius, right? Uh, it threw a code a couple days ago. I brought it into the the dealership, and they said, "Yeah, your your hybrid battery is fried." So the big, giant battery, and they're no. like, "It's gonna be four grand." <laughs> so there's that, and then it's just like. The squeeze is on all around, I would say. But so it's really a matter of uh, just staying, staying strong or attempting to. Right. How about you? How how have your how have your Joey energies been? Uh, uh, same up and down. I, I'm trying at times and feeling like a. Hopefully there's end in sight at least, but yeah, it's um varies from you know minute to minute. <laughs> do you get yourself out in the in the woods often, or do you kind of stay around the house? Um, yeah, it, just playing around like the yard primarily, mm-hmm. but you know, um, just going on hikes with with Elena and, and getting out uh, in the yard really helps. You know, just staying active. Yeah. In the backyard. Um, yeah, be, uh, def- definitely that. You know, just just keeping uh, keeping busy with projects. Uh, you know, occupies a lot of time. Makes me feel a little bit uh, accomplished or not as uh, isolated. So, yeah, <laughs> even though it's still isolated. Fair. Exactly. Have you guys been doing the uh, the this tent thing? What was it called? The smoke. I always forget what that thing's called. I don't know why. It's like the yeah, simplest word. The, 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 the sweat lodge. Sweat lodge. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Are you yeah. still doing that? Yeah. Yeah. Um, the guy, um, John, and his family are gone this week. They're out in uh, South Dakota doing the the real, like the eagle ceremony. So, like, kind of the big thing back on the reservation they went back to. So. South yeah, Dakota. This week off. But. Um, Resuming again in two more weeks. That's good. Nice. You guys should come up if you, if you can, and if you need to teleport yourselves if the if the car isn't working. <laughs> <laughs> Her car is still going for now. Good. Don't. Her car is going very nice. <laughs> Andrea. He said hello. Hey, Joey. Can you hear her? Yeah. Yeah, so. It's a weird, it's a weird, it's a weird energetic, like, vortex this month. For me, for me personally, and then I see that mirrored in the external, and I also see lots of people, just like the, the, the emotions are very turbulent yeah um I guess like as far as is astrology I'm supposed to be in my Saturn retrograde which is like a whole bunch of tearing down return Return, or Saturn return sorry (laughs) which is like I don't know a lot about astrology but it's uh you're 33 now I'm 34 Okay. Is it always the same year? It's like around 33, 34. Around 33, 34. Usually. So I guess you've been through years already. Yeah. Yeah. It, it was uh, uh, tough for sure, but, but 
and yeah, you, you'll get through it, man. It's uh, it's no joke for sure. <laughs> Challenging. What is today? Today's Sunday. Are are Elena and Crystal around the house? They just headed out to church. Yeah. That's why I was uh, getting on a little bit late. Sorry. They uh, spending time with them until they until they hit the road. They left at you know ten thirty ish, ten twenty five ish. So. You're 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 staying he- heathen status for now. You're not going back to church. Yeah, <laughs> I know it. I'll be burned at the stake probably tomorrow for it. <laughs> What kind of church do they go to? Is it non um, non denominational? Is it called um, Unitarian Church? Ah, nice. That's the kind that I was thinking about. Yeah. So, I think we've had this discussion before, right? Like you said, you've gone like once or twice. Yeah, I I've been to them before and stuff. Um, I grew up in Catholic church, so. It's not my thing. <laughs> I did the whole altar boy and all that. Yeah, I never did the altar boy. My some of my siblings did it. There was something in me that always pushed uh, pushed the Catholic thing away. Even as a kid, there's 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 like DNA trauma in there or something. It's just like nope, nope, yeah. nope. Like I'll go sit in the pew, but I will not energetically connect. <clears throat> So yeah, it's so crazy. Um, uh, yeah, just how how evident it is that it's it's a cannibalism cult. <laughs> uh, uh, and how hard it is for people to realize that or uh, acknowledge that. And as soon as you start saying anything about cults and Christianity and stuff, like people start freaking out. But like, no one has any scope of understanding of like what it was founded on and like what it is it's just like oh I want to believe the cute fairy story but it's not even a cute fairy story even the crucifixion and there's nothing cute about it it's like the whole thing is is around like blood sacrifice and ritual uh, like very obviously ritual I mean ritual is just repetition right you have to go to church every Sunday you have to go to confession and it, even like the, the even the the crucifixion from what at least the the latter day Jesus character as as I've seen through ACIM and also this lessons from the heart uh, that Stephen sent me he's like in the latest one he 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 talks about the crucifixion he's like that was that was like my personal challenge uh so he's like, don't don't put too much stock in that. That was my personal challenge in this in this particular plane of self mastery and responsibility. He's he literally makes fun of his own like thing that the church has sat and like, uh, you know, amassed massive amounts of control and wealth just from this one figure's action. And not to mention they've they've turned it upside down and made all of the beings feel guilty as a consequence of what that man did even though all he represents is love and uh community you know and this is this is stuff that it 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 seems obvious but if you've been in that setting for a really long time then you have so many fear blocks that if the first thought comes up that says oh maybe this isn't quite as portrayed then you'll you'll balk at it and you'll run away really or else the people around you will, you know, it, it, it's a self-reinforcing network of fear. Yeah. Yeah, it, 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 it totally um, plays on everyone's insecurities and, like, generational um, just habits and rituals, like you said, but Taboo. Like, the, the idea that, like, oh, my, my, my parents couldn't have been wrong, or, like, my my grandparents couldn't have been wrong, and then the whole realizing that oh, this huge portion of society who buys into this. I'm gonna they, show. I'm gonna show. Uh, if if any of you guys are interested in 
I don't know if you'd be interested in this or not, Joey. It was actually pretty helpful for me at this period. Um, I don't know if you can see this. Way of Mastery. Okay. Steven, nice. Steven sent it to me. It's, it's like, it's like I don't know, 20 different or maybe 24 installments. And it's, it's like a modern uh, Christ figure. Way of mastery. Mm-hmm. Twenty seven installments, like uh be PDFs or chapters or No, it's it's like a, it's it's just a, uh narrated. So it's like an audio it's like an audio book. Each each section is maybe half an hour or so. I think there's like the first book is twelve sections and then maybe the second one. I haven't listened to all of them but um, for, for, for anybody who is still in that paradigm kind of, uh, it's, it's good to, I guess, help release some, of, some of the, the final blocks. Cause I know if you've been raised in Catholicism, it takes a really long time. Even if you say to yourself, yeah, you know, I'm, I'm past that and I'm, you know, I've released these things. A lot of them go very deep. Right. Well, the it's interesting just the whole coming to a realization of how fail, uh, false it is and how much power it has over us. Since it's the uh, the repetition of us continually putting the, the spell upon ourselves. Mm hmm. Um, Whereas, like every week or every time you do the crucifix or uh, you do the, the the hail mary when you, you dip your fingers in the in the water when you go in and out, and you, you, you're doing like the upside down cross mm -hmm. upon yourself. That and then, and like the and what is that? Uh, you know, it's the same cross that you know the it's <laughs> the satinists. Exactly. I mean, that's. Uh, <laughs> Velvet, yes. velvet covers. Uh, and then it's, 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 it's us, it's you know, us putting it upon ourselves. So it's the, our willingness or just the habitual aspect and like the, the mass being, uh, like you said, it's just, just a ritual with, uh, you know, candles and incense and music and kneeling and invocation, and, mm -hmm. uh, you know, calling spirits to come into you and then knowingly acknowledging that you're uh, eating the the body and the blood of your of your savior of your your hero mm -hmm. like those are uh it's pretty big <laughs> uh like and then yeah the the whole idea that everyone wears the the, the cross or like that's uh all these symbols I, 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 there's that meme that said like you know if JFK came back and saw sniper rifles everywhere would he be stuck you know like what's with all the crosses you fuckers so <laughs> if JFK came back and you know would he want to see sniper rifles on every on everyone's neck mm. <laughs> right um, this is interesting it all it all ties in everything ties into everything else like it's re it's self reinforcing exactly What is today? Today is the 20, 28. Yeah. What does the rest of your guys' summer look like? Looking like? Finding work. <laughs> nice. We want to find work and get our own little apartment at some point and, you know, move slowly but surely toward the eventual goal of being able to have our, our community, you know, with with the art room, rage room, all of these things we've talked about, uh, but but have like the whole community involved, you know, everyone who is watching and who wants to either come and stay on the premise or contribute in some way. It's uh, 
it's like a slow process. It's it's while we, or while I in particular go through my my things, my own purification process, then the rest is is gonna form itself around as well. But it just takes a while. Yeah. yeah I was thinking about that stuff uh, kind of recently ish and uh yeah coming up with like more diversification ideas and like uh plans and uh, options mm -hmm. um, thinking like um the idea of just like renting out or uh like subletting a you know it's like a s small warehouse space or something you know that you know, cheap square footage essentially or even uh, uh, like building a pole barn in the backyard and uh, and having it there but uh, you know it's temporarily or something but um, you're saying you you're saying your your own place like, like your own house it's, it's something that would and uh, not um, I mean in, in the in the short term I mean uh, here isn't ideal but uh, uh, like you said like the if it was like in a warehouse space, you know, like having like you know, like three quarters of it dedicated to like the the rage room idea, mm -hmm. and then like a, a quarter of that, that that space being like used to grow like microgreens. You know, yeah, like a, a yeah, yeah. Separate um, business that was kind of self sustainable, and uh, then also at the at, at that same place, you know, you could uh, press and print out t-shirts and stuff and you know it, it seems and they're not they're not related in any way but it's uh would be even harder for all these different businesses to fail uh or not have any um any energy given to them at all at the same time you know like there would always be something to do as far as you know like uh and then until the raise room got big enough or something you know what i mean like there's uh enough work between the, the, the three or, and then like the, and have like a small art studio or, uh, you know, a, a, a place to, to showcase that art, you know, on the way to and from the, the rage room and the, <laughs> um, the, the, that way employing everybody's the talents and kind of having diversified mm -hmm. options. Um, yeah, I can give it that way we don't have to depend on, um, you know, like an outside source or the man to, keep us employed um, or sustainable because they don't give a shit and if they did they're just gonna give us the scraps you know what I mean the whole idea of you know creating our own um, so we don't have to be dependent upon them but you know that we have enough things like in the works where uh, it can uh, propel itself one way or another like say if the, the market's going bad and uh, people aren't wanting to break shit, and you know maybe they want to buy microgreens, you know, and we're you know selling microgreens that uh, to, to local places or even look to local people. Yep, you... we, we have we have all the ideas there. Like I I know we have the whole thing like mentally. It's right. it's the, the the stopping thing is always money to start off with but it's it's deeper than that for me personally we we both have sort of lack mentality things that we need to clear out and clean out still until uh we can like jump on the the idea like full steam ahead because there's the the idea is good it's great there's nothing wrong with any of it like we'll we'll have a, a an isolation tank in there we'll have We'll host meditations, you know, all, all the things that, that we want to do. Uh, but got I know for me personally, I gotta I gotta clean the clean the house first internally to make sure that I'm good, you know. Where if I get going with something like this, I'm not gonna I'm gonna stick with it and you know keep the vision going and and uh, that's why I'm kind of laying low at the moment because even coming off of drinking brings a lot of things up to the surface that have been suppressed for a really long time and it just requires space, it requires time 
and uh, holding strong, I guess you could say. But also in uh, knowing that you don't have to like do it by yourself, you know. Mm -hmm. Like, um, you know, there's you know like maybe two days a week I won't feel like doing stuff, but you know like because you're there or, or you know it, each other are there and I'm you know being dependent on like that that drags me out for those two days or whatever or you know, I'm hitting a rough stretch and you know you come and drag me by my ear to, to <laughs> or, or you know like the, the idea of the being able to support each other. Yeah, right, right. That's that's the that would be the groundwork, the like the the base is just the communal support for each other. That's the whole thing that we've come out of. It's the whole thing that this current system it pulled us from the actual need and reliance on, upon one another and it put that responsibility into the bank. And the bank manages all of all of your movements rather than uh, what your own spirit and soul is calling for you to do. So we just simply have to reverse it. I don't know. It's not simple, but <laughs> that's that's the call. Yeah. But yeah, I mean, like you said, just uh, just it, it's like you said, going within to a degree, um, you know, separating even if it's just. Uh, where you're dedicating all your time to an endeavor or you know, like a, a lifestyle or building something. Um, you know, it's something that, that you won't get tired of or that allows a creative outlet where you, you know, you can't get burned out or, you know, or, or you, you at least feel good every day because you help people break stuff and uh, you can see that they're not going to break their wife or their kids or their pets and stuff. But, <laughs> <laughs> I know it's a it's a it's a fantastic idea and the it's like it's so open for that type of work in the world right now it's it's so open that you have to just break through the initial blocks that everyone has due to their programming that's that's all you really have to do and of course you would you come at it you you would come at it from uh, a regular perspective, not like, oh, this is going to help unravel this giant ball of shit ball of yarn you've you've gotten yourself into. You're just going to say, hey, come and let off some steam, you know, and then that will happen automatically, and then you can be there to support them uh, as things start coming up. Offering Reiki and such. Yeah, yeah. Exactly. We've got ancient memories, traumas stored in the body, and. It's got to come out at some point somehow. That's that's tough though. <laughs> um, you know, uh, dealing with the the, the traumas that, that we are dealing with in these lives is enough work to uh, keep us occupied. That uh, the idea of attacking ancestral stuff and uh, <laughs> <laughs> ancient DNA stuff. Um, uh, it's a lot. Aim big though, right? Wait, there's no shortage of work to be done. Yeah, there's no shortage of work. <laughs> Just need more people to want to uh, warrior up and, you know, like, be able to face that stuff rather than run from it, you know? Because it's 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 either one or the or the other. There's not even an in between anymore. I don't I don't see that there's any more in between. Exactly. Things are changing um, pretty, pretty substantially. Uh, it seems like uh, I don't know what of the uh, the greater narrative is actually uh, true or or not, but uh, it's sure is slow going. But I'd like to see it uh, you know gain momentum or uh, people being more proactive rather than reactive. Mm-hmm. I mean, from the top down, the fact that Trump got in there in the first place, to me, was it was a big thing, regardless of what you think of him. The fact that that type of a personality, because the whole thing about the control structure is they don't want people just saying things. They don't, you know, know that everything has to be 
to this this manicured uh, standard. And Trump is up there like screaming and pounding his fists and like throwing poop at everyone and just having a good old time. And they don't the controllers don't know what to do with him. They're like, oh my god, like you know he nobody knows what he, he's unpredictable. Yeah, I think that's that's a that's the best thing, I guess, but. I don't know how unpredictable he is because uh, he still is, is on his knees for uh, his owners. I mean, yeah. Who, who does he serve? <laughs> there, th- that that probably has to stay in there. Just the fact that it's it's the <laughs> the biggest uh, it's the biggest hat you can hold. So you know, I'm sure on some level he's serving someone, but it's it's shaking up the collective consciousness r- rather than like a Hillary getting in there and everyone falling even faster asleep and everyone's like you know I feel like if Hillary had gone in there we would all be sort of cyborgs by now just like <laughs> you know it would have already happened like we would just be machines and there would be no more I know that's a dramatic picture but it's like I could, Trump Trump has some 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 humanness in him it's so crazy, like us being on the West Coast and saying that, because you know, like anyone would, in Oregon and California would, would kill us for saying such things. Because <laughs> we're what? Because we're the red state. Um, yeah, because both of us are in, in blue states, and you know, saying anything that's pro-Trump or uh, it even tolerates him, it, you know. Is, Wait, which is which? Is blue Democrat? Yeah. Okay, okay. I had them mixed. No worries. <laughs> That's how that's how little I am into politics. I don't even know like the basic colors. I feel like red should be Democrat because like it's like the angry like tantrum color, and blue <laughs> should be Republican. You're like we're conservative. We like nice, pretty skies. Nice. I don't know. I I was attributed to the Bloods and Crips. It's what? <laughs> I used to attribute it to like the Bloods and the Crips. Hmm. Like, like the the. The street gangs essentially like there's something uh, just going back to how it all kind of goes back to the Sumerian races and stuff and the the, the red and blue you know, yeah the, the, the snake and the um, was it the the serpent and the bird or the phoenix and the dragon um, kind of paradigm you know one being of the of the of the sky like the, the dragon or the um the you know the phoenix being in the air and like the the snake of the earth and I don't know all that all that stuff all that stuff one way just hiding hey, we, the, need, we need some phoenixes we need some some, re- some rebirths right Yep. It's interesting times. That's that's <laughs> I don't know what else to say about it. It's like <laughs> So so what do you what do you um I guess beyond like money now, I mean, obviously we could all use a financial injection but uh what do you need like um now to help you like uh gain footing or stability or strength or uh it's mainly that i guess you could say it's mainly money in that sense but money also is just representing like my ability to take care of my own my child take care of myself us and I think it's like it's the it's the one thing that's representative of a, a, a male's ability to pull his own. And you know, if I'm not doing that, then uh, 
it's a it's a failure on on that level in the way that is given in order for like a guy to be able to participate in the system and even if i tell myself you know you're a valuable human and all this uh regardless it that that thing is like it's like ancestral it's like primal just the simple ability to be able to pull your own regardless of you know the the makeup of the system so for me right now that's the most important thing for me is to find some type of work to be able to sort of go back to to square one and reevaluate my priorities and how I want to move how I feel is correct to move through this realm move to where no, no, no. You're fine? I'm fine. That's, yeah, that's, that's what I'm seeing for myself. And of course, like, it's, I would say, more interaction between us, like you and I, between Omar and I, between everyone who's, Omar and I are talking about we're talking about something with coffee, about business ideas with coffee. You and I have these business ideas with Reiki, Rage Room, uh, you know, Sweat Lodge, every, everything. Like all of this stuff, it requires for the fabric, for the, the, the individual units of fabric to be in communication with each other. If they're not in communication, then it's not a fabric. It's just neural nodes. So to, to that end, I think it's beneficial if those of us who are, who are actually feeling that call to create that community, we have to be on it daily and discussing like, and like I was telling Omar, it involves like, it involves the mindset of your burden is my burden and your, my burden is your burden, and we help each other get through the things that are blocking the group from moving forward. And like that old cliche says, the group is as strong as its weakest link. And if, if there's a link that's suffering and the group is trying to do the normal society thing, which is let's ignore that problem and paint that link, you know, to blend in, it just doesn't work. So I think being, I think just being in more communication, like making an effort to daily communicate with those of us who are interested in doing this and keeping like the vision, keeping the vision daily. Because if you're not, if we're not moving toward that, we're simply stagnating and sitting in our own sort of puddle of emotions, you know? And I know it's not healthy. Have you, have you, um, are you, um, open to, or have you done any, uh, like, uh, sigil magic? Have you, are you familiar with that? Um, I mean, I would be open to it. I, I don't know if I've, I've done, like, intention, intentions involving sort of artifacts, you know, simple things, like we would burn candles and write something on a piece of paper, or, you know, write stuff out on a piece of paper that you don't want. And dissol- like burn it, it dissolves dissolves the the thought forms out. But yeah, I would be I would be open to. It. Yes. If you want to give some suggestions. Yeah, it's it's um I guess it's one of the or I, it is one of the more um, potent and easy forms of magic to, to practice and to conduct, and um, it pretty much works on the subconscious. Mm. And um, yeah, it's uh, you know, like a, a, any any logo you see uh, is essentially sigil magic, which is <laughs> kind of crazy to think about. Mm-hmm. And uh, yeah, because it just replicates itself in in the collective mind. Exactly. Yeah. And then everyone has their own association to what it means to them or how they identify with it, and they assign us. Uh, is a certain meaning that they impose, but it doesn't have to actually be the actual meaning that the creator imposes it to be. Mm. 
so like uh, like a Safeway uh, could be uh, is, you know that the S or whatever it could be um, you know, the person created it thinking of uh, division and uh, uh, sales or something just or, you know just uh, does that and everyone just um, I, I don't know has their own associations to oh the the, the abundance of the of the S, you know, the, the, the thinking of it like a like a like a river, you know, like the, like the abundance of a river or something, and the, uh, the the banks of it on the sides or something, you know, like that. Like yeah, the right, river. right. Assuming it that way. Sorry, I'm not brilliant. <laughs> you think that's what the the originators of Safeway had in mind? Uh, I'm just I'm just, I'm just throwing things out there. <laughs> But yeah, you you do people do attach their own sort of significance into the the symbology, and then that makes it it makes it uh, that acts as actually the tie into the the sigil because you've you've put your own personal twist on you know what's what's a, a corporate logo. So yeah, like, uh, say I created it in like a, a ceremony or whatever, but then as soon as other people see it, or um, every time it's printed on a ad, you know, that the, they open it on their Tuesday and, uh, you know, identify what it, the store or something to it, um, the intention is being compounded. Like the intention is is, you know, pushing itself through the ether or subconscious in a way. Mm. And yeah, just the, like you said, just the idea of, uh, of starting something and uh, just continually, you know, getting behind it because um, you, you can't just have a, a, a good idea and uh, hope it's going to manifest itself without any either effort or time and energy. Right, right. And, uh, this is a, a time of creation and manifestation, I guess, right? So it is. It is. It's, it, it to the test. It, it's 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 something that you have to, <laughs> it has to be daily. I think. I think it has to be a daily effort. And uh, the members have to communicate on a, on a daily basis because if if that's what we're trying to turn it into is a, a community, right? then you have to act like the community already exists. It does already exist. Exactly. But are you communicating with your, your tribe members or not? Yes. Because that's where the support is coming from. It's not coming from your... It is coming from yourself. We do self-work and we are, you know, self-sustaining beings, but the group requires effort and active communication. Um... So yeah. <laughs> that's that's for for me personally is I have to find some some work locally. We would like to get an apartment locally and then use that because like this I mean we need our own space. It's to to try and have a conversation in in, in a place where <laughs> the minds are not uh, equally on the same page it's literally nearly impossible so we need to find our own deal uh, and kind of use that as like a springboard to uh, to keep our energy correct while we move toward the, the vision essentially right. is, is this new, new spot you guys moved to not uh, not cohesive or not? it's just different different mindscape completely Bruh. <laughs> yeah, it, it's it's just the it's this this the sleep versus what we're trying to do, which is not not be napping so heavily all the time. And it's not like it's not like an active resistance. It's it's just a you know it's very much there. It just 
makes another uh, obstacle for you to have to break through and mm -hmm. be a lot easier with that it wasn't a challenge of that, that base level. Like that. But it, like, it just is what it is. Like, that's the situation we're in. You have to start where you're at. I think that's where, <laughs> that's what one of the, the YouTube subs is named. It's like, begin where you stand or something like that. Like, start, start, where, where, you start where you stand. I love that guy. <laughs> I haven't heard from him for a while. You've never heard of Oprah's hand out that one show? That's like, um, but yeah. So that's, that's. So if you can give energy toward us getting this first step taken care of, then that would help the, the group move forward. And if you have anything that you need, like as far as personal blocks that are stopping you from... It's like getting past things that are stopping us, right? Like, do you have internal things that are stopping you from like doing anything towards this vision? Oh yeah. And is there anything that I can do or that the group, because the group is listening, right? Anyone who's watching this is, any, the, the group is anyone who wants to be in it who's willing to do the work. Like, that's always, that's always been it for me. So anything that you would like energetic assistance with, then we're here to help, you know, just like you're offering your assistance to me during, like, dark t or rough times. Thank you very much. Mm-hmm. Oh, yeah, this dude was 27. Yeah, oh, just he, the, he um, like, the, the, uh, the confidence to be able to uh, step say, out and be vulnerable. Uh, word. We have uh, <laughs> I, I guess just, uh, he saw, what is he talking about? I, I guess... I, I cripple myself by not putting myself out there um, as, a, or as much as I should. And uh, but, it, but insecurity and just, um, yeah, just finding uh, words to. Uh, and that's it. I had to, to not hold back or to, uh, to not be afraid, I guess. Mm hmm. Yeah. It's a it's a big thing that that whole like being able to hold your power and to stay in it and and it, it's a very it's a real thing like for guys especially if you're on one side of the the line or the other side like if you're on the side of you know I'm going to really get into this thing and figure it out and try to be honest with myself then uh, the other side. Uh, rejects you to an extent and you have to come up with that if you don't have the tribe already to support you you got to come up with that shit yourself and that's not that's not always easy that's never easy yeah yeah the, the that whole like uh, for every person you have like supporting you or like a, as a client you know you're gonna have two people that are like dismissing you and they saying like oh that's bullshit or something or you know like a, the ability not to, to, to crumble under that much um, it's kind of where it's at you know like 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 where we test our metal you know yep and I, you've been doing this for what like two and a half years now <laughs> yeah I mean this you, 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 you exemplified what we needed to be doing here man like you know, like your two to three videos a day sometimes, and like, like, like the, the your breadth of work, like, it's uh, it speaks for itself. Like, it's a, an example in itself. You know, like it's you know, freely given and uh, you know, honest and true. Like, it's a it's a model right there, man. Like, you you already done it. You already achieved it. Beautiful. Thank you. It's true. Um. I, th I think it's it's mainly just action now like I e even as far as you know if somebody's gonna judge I think what we have to offer and to bring is something that's so valuable that it's not even being attacked on the level of 
oh, you know, someone's going to, it's being attacked within us, like, we're being our own biggest obstacle. It's not, the outside world is, doesn't even know, you know, like, not really of, of any of the visions that we're having. It's, it's ourselves, so, like, that's, that's the place you have to start. <laughs> start where you're at, start where, where your own inner self is, and, and move from there. And like, I would say, when we're done with this, you know, do something with it. Like, what? Write something down. Like, grab grab a notebook. I'll grab a notebook. We'll we'll write down things that we're trying to aim for. And just like let that, it's 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 just a seed, right? It's a seed that's been like it's been growing for a while internally, as far as like this community, but you gotta like go inside the seed you know with your notebook like look at the walls you know look at the make sure there's some nutrients in there make sure there's some water flow getting to the outsides of the seed like that that's what we have to do we gotta do that on, on a daily basis and I don't know just ju jump in there you know everything can be talked about like that's the thing that I think that you struggle with sometimes And I have a feeling too, like especially you know when I'm in this environment with, with these these ones out here that you know the the mind is blocking everything and subconscious responses are given or or not maybe it's just my stuff but. Uh, it's the idea the idea of hiding like I think that's that's like, a big part of this. Thing that has crept into men is like this this need to cower or this need to you know, conform to all the idiotic leanings of the liberal party or whatever, what have you, like, it's all, none of it means anything, if anything, it's just harmful, like, it's the idea that to be able to feel within yourself as a man, as a human, as a divine being even, that you're powerful, and to be able to hold on to that feeling and create from that position, rather than, you know, doing this and just keeping your head down, like, the difference in physical stature even represents like if your spine is straight you will feel like more powerful if you're doing this you know you're gonna feel slightly more like shit like it's a whole bunch of accumulation of of these like internal posturings because we're we're very complex like you got you gotta accept yourself for what you are you're a complex like train wreck like that's what we are we're complex beautiful powerful like fucking divine train wrecks <laughs> you know so respect that within yourself and like keep getting up in the morning and and keep your eye on the vision of if you don't like what you're in then keep, you, you have to focus on where you want to be. And I know, like, for myself, even just the idea of accepting a projection, like, because I'm all meditation, you know, stay present, all this, that can be a trap in itself, and you'll stay, you'll stay and stagnate. And I, I had to go through that to learn that. Like, but if you wake up, I guarantee you, if... Even if it was just you, me, and Omar for a little while, if every single morning we got up with the idea that, hey, we're building something... And how do you how do you continue on whatever we're building? Whether even if it's just pushing a thought form a little bit further, if we did that versus just wake up and like uh, same old shit, you know, it would change. It starts changing everything. And that it it grows eventually, you know. People, other people, what we're talking about is what guys actually need like they need in the core of themselves they need some sort of purpose some sort of vision that is reasonable enough otherwise it's just the slow death you know it's one or the other uh, well that's the thing is the uh, allowing ourselves to be disempowered or allowing ourselves to be uh, for them to take power or uh, ourselves to be weakened by uh, by having the integrity not to conform to their systems or wanting to create our own um, it, it, it doesn't equate us or it doesn't equal 
us being weak beings or something just because we don't want to conform to uh, this broken mold. No. There's that's that's not that's not weakness. Like, well, we, not wanting to conform is not a weakness at all. Like, that's that's the the preferred stance if you wish to retain your your humanity. If you if you conformed, that just means like the hive mind got you essentially to that to whatever extent you conform. That's all it means. It's not, you know. But it's like keeping. It's just keeping the vision, you know. Communicate communicate daily. When you wake up, like. That's one of the things that the 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 Christ character and that thing I was telling you about the the way of the heart or whatever that I shared, way of mastery, that's what he was talking about, was he was saying when you wake up, the first thought that enters your mind, you're going to you're gonna act somehow to that thought. You're either going to say, fuck that thought, I'm not, I don't want to do that, or you're going to, you know, say, okay, I'll brush my teeth or whatever, or okay, I'll sit here and meditate like I've been telling myself I was supposed to be doing. You're going to do something with that first thought. And if the first thought is, if you if you do make it a ritual, the first thought is, oh, I'm building something. Oh, there there there's this person involved, this very specific person. There's this specific person involved. There's this person. You know, ten people maybe will be on your mind when you wake up, and you'll be thinking, where are they at? What are they doing? How can I help them? Etc. How can we help move these pieces around? And your whole day will change because you woke up with that thought in your mind rather than you wake up and you just have a general feeling of heaviness or depression because you're not doing the other thing. Exactly. And <laughs> it's difficult, like, to, to, to sit and make something, to create something, is extremely difficult. You have to, like, be gentle with yourself. When, when, when the show is over, like, just sit in your thoughts for a little bit and feel it out. Like, feel out what happened today. Did something different actually happen today? Because we've talked about this before. Or, you know, can I change things a little bit to reflect my desire to align with a path that's going to move forward rather than stagnating because I mean I can say for myself I've I've done the stagnate thing many times even after many such motivational talks or you know it's it's something that you have to you have to give a lot of like you have to respect the, that things want to stay the way they are and you have to require work to to check it out, to say, hey, can I do this? Do I want to do this? Do I have support, etc.? Like, look into it. Like, write things down. Right. It's literally any any interaction keeps it moving forward. Just like in the group, in the group I made, guys on isolating, right? Preferably, people would be talking more in there. To me, preferably, people would be talking more because that's part of the group. That's part of the the group consciousness. And the thing we, we've been used to, so used to doing is just sitting down, head down, and not interacting, and sort of doing the, like, I get pulled into the addictive, like, chess mode where I'd rather be studying in a structured way, in a, in a, in a more structured way. I get pulled into Facebook sp scrolling, which is, they say you do 100 meters Per, per day on average like it's ridiculous the, the things that pull us outside of what our actual vision is they're very very powerful yeah this um this uh wise woman said uh this that uh she said, who are you to not share your your gifts and talents uh, with the world? You know, like the, the whole idea that, like, us 
living to our our best selves or like to our highest ability is mm-hmm. what is like the medicine and uh, what the world needs. And if we're not living up to that and sharing it, um, then we're depriving like the world of something. You know, if 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 we're not able to step into our you know complete power, then like we're shorting everyone else because that's what it's supposed to be yep and uh like and it's it it, it sounds arrogant but like they like like who are you to short everyone else you know the magnificence that are you, that is you you know like yeah we just got to exemplify that and like uh and feel it for sure yeah it's it's like it's it's more selfish to do the other thing to hide your your to hide your gifts is more selfish like you're you're not getting the joy that comes from sharing your actual true gifts and the people are being deprived of receiving them so it's like a lose lose situation and it's 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 a very simple the world appears to be complicated but you know it's not actually complicated it's a matter of internally are you ready to do what you need to do it's very simple like how hard is it to take a breath like it's easy like and 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 that's a gift in itself the fact that somehow the the bodies were made to work flawlessly for the most part until you know dump all kinds of shit into there but for the most part your hands open and close correctly and everything works and there's nothing and, and like there's like a I don't know. There's there's a there's an eternal patience built in for those of us who balk at every turn to actually do something different, and it allows us like if we need to sit and stagnate for another however many millions of years or whatever incarnation you're on. I don't know. You know, nobody knows exactly who's where on the path, but there's eternal patience built in because we're eternal beings. Like <laughs> you know, like you can't sit there and force somebody if they're not ready to move some some processes take billions of years or like how long does it take for a star to turn into a supernova can you be like come on star hurry the fuck up like i need my coffee is like i need to drink my coffee is like no you can't you can't rush certain processes time that's a joke <laughs> <laughs> It's a joke, but it's also not a joke. Right. It's 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 very real. Uh, it's 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 something that aware people like to make fun of because they wish that it didn't have to be their slave master. But the fact is, is it, it is your slave master for for the most part while you're still in the matrix. And if you're using money, then time is your master, and there's no other way around that. If you're sitting out in the woods and like sitting on a log and watching the river, then yeah, maybe you're free of time. But as long as we're here in this in this thing, like that's how people know how to meet each other. If they didn't have time, they would never know how to meet. <laughs> it, it it's it's a silly thing. Like it is a silly construct, but. It's there. It exists. All, all in its own realm and purpose, though. Like uh, the, the the fact that it rules so many people in so many ways is, you know, like a, it's it's a it's a giving our power over to it in that regard. Whereas it, it should only rule like commerce, essentially. Um, whereas, like. Uh, I don't know I, we we went camping, you know, for two days, you know, this week, and uh, it was it was perfect. Like we all like went to bed at the same time, and like it was I don't know it was it was, it was beautiful. Like we weren't worried about time. Like we didn't argue the entire time. Like there was no <laughs> fights. It was you know it was like just joyous. Like you know like I'm hot. I'm gonna go jump in the river, and we just did. Like you know there's no like. I, I, like one of us, you know, say if I was, oh, I'm sleepy, I'm gonna go, you know, I'm gonna read while you guys would do that. Like the, yeah, there's, uh, 
the freedom from having responsibilities, I think, by needing less. I mean, like, it's so freeing. Um, I mean, I'm not saying that everyone has to just camp and, like, you know, live in a tent, but, I mean, when we need less, our the things that we have to work for is less. So our responsibilities to have to, like, be accountable or productive, um, the burdens are lessened. Or, or the pressures that, that we have to to drag around or to uh, be responsible or show up for. Yeah. That's that's one of the main reasons why people go to minimalism because it requires less things to be... I think also... The, the, the term responsibility got skewed a little bit. And, like, I think responsibility should be something that's a self thing first and foremost and then you can say I need to be responsible for my cat I need to be responsible for my car for my mortgage payment for whatever but that's the base the base is self responsibility and then you can sort of take care of the people around you and the things but in our upside in our upside down model we have responsibility being as <laughs> all of the societal external things and then people completely neglect like their inner child or their their inner divine self and it's just sitting there dying and shriveling and like it's like the black heart syndrome while well, you have like these billionaires or whatever these rich people have all the cars and external trappings and then inside their heart is just like gone completely and they just become like robotic I think that the, 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 the cure of that starts with um, you know being responsible for ourselves with like our starting by being responsible with our word you know like there's so many things that you know people say one thing and know that they're not gonna fulfill what they're saying they just kind of blowing smoke up each other's ass and uh, mm-hmm. the society I mean like there's so much of things that are just like that and it's accepted now. Um, whereas like if I, in my, I don't know, my grandpa's age, you know, 80 years ago, like that would have got your ass kicked or, you know, you would have never had, uh, been in business or you, you know, no one would deal with you in town if you did that, you know, if you, if you didn't have honor. Right. I, I think in modeling that and uh, exemplifying that, like people see that, but, um, I don't know if they uh, honor or uh, cherish it enough or, or care about. We have to be the example. There, there, there isn't that much example or or role models to speak of. There doesn't exist that much anymore out there. So you have to just do it yourself. And find there, there are some out there. There are some strong you know, pure male role models out there. And there are female ones too, but you have to like, as a collective, we have to be utilizing these people as like mainstays of the thing that we're trying to build. It's, it's, it's around strength. Like there has to be perseverance through everything. And the, everything is heavy, like, obviously, it's very heavy, and it's not, the, the external things that happen are, like, side, they're, like, effects of the heavy stuff that's going through our body, like, the energies that go through us on a daily basis, the, the, the external trappings are just, like, evidence of that. It's not the other way around. We, we think like, oh, because I don't have this item, then that's making me feel bad. It's no, it's because you're feeling bad is why you don't have the item. Or it, it all starts from inside. So how do we empower others while empowering ourselves at the same time? Or I think a lot of it lies with empowering <coughs> the young like the the younger people, it, the, the younger the better, empowering them. I 
think will have a cascading effect where we will be empowered by that because that's the precedence that has to change not working on adults like us like we're our age is it's already too late like 40 year olds 30 you know like if it's gonna change it's gonna change but you know like the focusing on the on the future you know what i mean and supporting them so they're not so lost and fragmented because it seems like that's a huge disconnect or breaking point is the lack of grounding or support or connection that they have I think I think you empower other people by empowering yourself and then it happens automatically exactly if if, and being honest like self honesty I think is one of the most important aspects If you're not yeah, like, if you're not self honest then you're not even you're not even speaking your own truth you're 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 saying some sort of skewed version of whatever it is that you feel because you're scared of something or you're scared of retribution by the people around you right I think I'm getting ready to wrap this one I think we're a little over an hour like sorry no, 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 no apologies. <laughs> I'm glad. I'm glad you showed up because uh, we're we're on a pretty good roll here. I think this is like number five in a row or something. Sweet. So we're keeping the keeping the momentum of guys on isolating going. Um. But if I could ask you to uh, just put in a little work afterward, like grab a notebook, just write down some ideas of of. How you want to? How you, Joey, want to participate in in the the vision? Like everyone who wants to participate, literally has a spot. You know, if you're not self-serving and you're not, you know, trying to pull us down to the to the dark nether regions, then you have a spot in some way, shape, or form. So like, maybe write down like, how do I, Joey, want to participate in the community vision? Like, what what can I do? How can I how can I move it forward? Sorry, I'm just gonna write this down. Sorry. Yeah, yeah, no, it's good. And anyone else listening that wants to participate in some way, you can do the same thing. You can write down how can I best participate in moving the vision forward. And then you can bounce it off of people bounce it off of me um, if you want to join the guys on isolating group you can send me a message on Facebook um, so yeah just just write down what can I do like how can I participate how can my gifts my own personal gifts best be utilized that that uh, that post that I did uh, that seemed uh, really awkward, I guess, <laughs> um, when I was trying to list like the things I feel confident with or would be willing to share. Is kind of was kind of like an example of that or an attempt to uh, Wait, put that out there. When did you you posted it? Where? Uh, not, in, in the guys on isolating plan. I don't know, like a month ago, maybe a month. Oh, ago. okay, okay, okay. It was a while back. It was kind of it, it wasn't. I, I, it, no one else wrote it in a, a thread or whatever. Okay. But um, it was something like it, it, um, addressing that in a degree, but I can do that again or, or you know, more specific. Even even repetition isn't bad. Like, it's, it's literally anything. It's like the movement shakes the bubbles up. Like, if you imagine inside of yourself, you have blocks somehow. Everyone has blocks. Imagine them as bubbles, and they're inside of a liquid. And you doing any action whatsoever anytime you pick up a notebook and write your own thoughts and feelings down in there you're shaking that jar up a little bit and some of those bubbles are going to break loose and they're going to come bloop pop out and you're going to feel like shit maybe or you're going to feel you know some sadness or something's going to happen the bubble's going to pop and you're going to release it and it it's just a fact that you're doing something it's always do something because the the opposite of doing something is 
us staying in the same mindset. We, we all know what that feels like. Like, you know what that mindset is, right? Anything outside of that, anything to shake up the jar is part of moving forward. Yeah, I was also thinking, um, as you were saying in earlier about um, the uh, our fears like holding us back. Um, mm-hmm. I think I think if we can like come up with a um, like a claiming statement, like you know addressing like our failures and insecurities, and uh, putting it out there, um, it doesn't necessarily have to be for everybody or like. Uh, but the whole thing of, you know, addressing that, like, our weaknesses mm-hmm. um, allows us to own it. You know, like, the um, if I say, yeah, I'm a, an addict and uh, a weak man who is uh, attempted with, you know, things that uh, aren't of my highest good, you know, by putting that out there, like... Uh, it can't be used against me or, or it can't, um, like I'm owning up to it rather than, uh, hiding uh, my shadow part. Like I'm trying to hide it, you know, Mm -hmm. I'm trying to protect this, this thing that, um, wants to remain hidden. We're we're like kind of putting it out there and then allowing it to give it the attention that it needed or it wanted, uh, that it needs to help or to heal itself, I guess. Uh, Does that make sense? Or yeah, like, It does. It, it makes sense. It, 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 it's it's the the bringing of the the things, the insecurities or whatever, to to light that it does two things. It it shows that number one, they probably weren't as big as you thought they were gonna be, and number two, like they aren't allowed to grow anymore because they grow in darkness. Like in the, in, in the interior of you, when you're shr- when you're like hunkering down and protecting yourself that's when all those things are growing so just like bring it out and and nothing that anyone confesses about you know like i'm a piece of shit because this x y or z none of those things is something amazing that no one else has gone through everyone's gonna be like oh yeah you know i'm exactly the same way and then you know you start bringing it out and it it's not vilified in your own mind anymore because you see that the people are like yeah and not 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 only that but i've done much much worse than you (laughs) you know and then it becomes able to be released at that point. Yeah, I think I think that that uh, it would be part of the um, of, of that exercise that you were saying, like the I don't know, or, or it could just be another aspect of it, you know, another exercise that we address at another point. Or something. Yeah. But yeah, if you guys uh, have a chance, if you're in between work, you guys can always come stay up here or come, uh, come visit if you, if you have time or availability. Okay. You guys. Cool. Cool. Thank you. Absolutely. I hope uh, things work out until I speak to you next. But yeah, if you guys want to do like the daily thing or uh, whatever you guys feel like, let me know. I think just just uh, to work on commu- to work on communicating, like to work on not. Like the title of this group says, guys and isolating. And you can, any women listening, you can extend that to yourself. This group is just for guys as far as the show, like who's on the show, this particular segment. But guys and girls need the same thing. Like they, they need to come out of the, the machine mind thing, which it has most people, and they need to talk to each other. That's all it is. It's very simple. So thanks for coming on, Joey. Dialogue, come together, right? Hmm? Uh, through, through dialogue, we, we come together. And yeah, exactly. Right. And you can actually talk about what's affecting you. you. You talk about it like as if nobody's listening. That's that's, to me that that was the most. If you can speak your shit without having this feeling like someone's judging me, then it burps all out and then it pops. The little bubbles pop and then you have your own like pure essence again, that's untarnished by all this baggage. Right. Right. So, write something in the notebook after we're off. Just, like, keep the energy going a little bit. You know, maybe write, like, how can, you know, what is something I can do physically? Like, 
can I go talk to somebody in my community? Like, can, can any can anything happen? Like, just, you're, you're just using this as like a fruitful ground of moving the community vision forward of like us creators being able to actually create and not just being in our own way. Like, it's the sky's the limit and bounce things off of us. Like you have the group, you have me. Um, just keep the, the feeling that you're with other people, like you're not by yourself. And that's, that's what everyone else, I suggest to do the same thing. When we get this idea that we're all alone, we're, we're immediately chop our own heads off and we're powerless. That's true. Thank you, Gary. Thanks for, thanks for doing this, man. Thanks for... Yeah, yeah. Thanks for coming on, Joey. Absolutely, man. Oh, we'll talk soon, yeah? Alright. Right. Okay, thank you. Peace. You're I wanted to do it anyway because like I was having feelings like oh god like they're gonna come out and then I'm gonna have to shut up and I felt that feeling come through me and I started being quieter and then eventually I was like okay. eventually I forgot about it it's all like quite bullshit in a way they literally lack the ability to say anything constructive about any of it mm -hmm. so like the only thing would be them subconsciously judging us because we're doing something different it like it's nothing else they, they cannot words cannot come to talk about anything that we're talking about here it would be cool if they somehow did <laughs> I welcome that it would be cool but it can't for 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 people as deep as they are it, I think it requires an actual like cataclysmic event right yeah and I'm not in charge of making those happen or not no no, would you want to be? <laughs>